guys, we're back. Took a little break between episodes. Uh, take care of some stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's see here. Go back to the campaign. Alright, let's do it. Best friends, best duelists. We've been through so much stuff. You know? <laughs> oh man, I remember the song. That's the song they played of the, you know, the flashback between uh, Yugi and Joey here. It's actually pretty good. Probably one of the best uh, songs from the original series. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, with Joey winning against Ben and Keith, it was now time for the final duel of the tournament. Uh, I guess the duel versus Pegasus is just kind of, kind of a bonus, technically. Yeah, I guess. But it was Joey versus Yugi. Best friends, both dueling for great causes. Thinking to myself, I have to win this match so I can duel Pegasus and save my grandpa and the Kyber brothers. But to get to Pegasus, I have to beat my best friend in the world, Joey Wheeler. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself. Yeah, I gotta win this for my sinister serenity and her eye operation. She needs that three million dollars worth of prize money, guys. You. I hope you don't have any second thoughts about dueling me. I'm sorry, Joey, but I don't know if I can do this. We're friends. Shouldn't our friendship, you know, stop us from doing this? Yeah, suck it up, you. You said it yourself. If it came down to us, we both just play our both best and most honorable duels. So let's do it, buddy. That's the only way we're really going to know which one of us is best prepared to take on Pegasus in the final match. Yeah, so let's just duel. Okay, maybe Joey's right. I may not want to do this, but still, it has to be done if we want to beat Pegasus. Yeah, what do you say, you? Let's do this thing. All right, Joey. Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, Joey. It's time to duel, sucker. Can you dig it? All right. Do, 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 do. Skilled White Magician. I, I remember having that card. I liked having it for the Buster Blader. So, Duelist Kingdom Recap. I've been doing this the last couple episodes. What is notable that happened during this duel? Um, quite a few things. Um, one thing I really like that happened in this duel, in Duelist Kingdom, is... Uh, at one point, uh, Joey, uh, he placed shield and sword, right, and this was basically, this was the play of the duel, if you ask me, the play, well, I don't know, Yami Yubi kind of made the play too, but in another way, I'll talk about that in a minute, but Joey really, really, they went kind of back and forth with each other for a while, but Joey really kicked this duel into the next gear, and how he did it was Yugi played Summon Skull, but Joey played uh, Shield and Sword, making uh, Summon Skull only have 1,200 attack. Then he destroyed it. Uh, you know, Yugi did some damage to him the next turn. But then after that, Joey used probably the best possible combination of his cards at that time. You know, he summoned Red Eyes. Then he uh, he, he stole a Summon Skull from Yugi. With, yeah, grave robber, let me take a card from your graveyard. So he stole Summon Skull. And then he used, yeah, yeah, there's Grave Robber right there. But then he used um, Copycat, you know, the Copycat card to um, copy, uh, and that's basically what Joey's doing here, to copy Yugi's polymerization. And then he summoned Black Skull Dragon, which was, uh, is he going to do it here? He's doing it. He's doing it as I'm talking about it. Well, I mean, he didn't, the only thing missing from that equation right there is he didn't steal our summon skull, but still, I mean, he did just steal our polymerization and copy it, which I kind of like. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you did that, Joey, because that's basically what I was talking about. Now, how did you come back from this? Well, oh, I guess I have a black skull dragon on my own. Lucky me, heart of the cards. But yeah, how did you come back from this? Well, two things. Dark Magician and Magical Hats, right? You kind of stall out the game? Yeah, that, that was definitely very, 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 very helpful, as always. So, that was uh, plan number one. 
plan number two, you know, eventually you get hit some traps in the magical hats, and one of them was a uh, spellbinding circle. Now, unlike in the real game, spellbinding circle will reduce um, the monster's points by 700. So at that point, it was tied with Yugi's Dark Magician, and of course, Yugi top decks the one spell card he needed. Book of Secret Arts, you know, so. But yeah, uh, don't know why I played Mammoth Graveyard here. That was kind of dumb. Uh, should I crash here? Let's just see what happens right here. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna crash. I'm not gonna crash. I was thinking I could crash the Black School Dragons, but... Yeah, that was dumb. I shouldn't have played Mammoth Graveyard in attack mode. That's my bad, guys. But, hmm. Uh, other notable things that happened in this duel. Um, Dark Sage, which I don't know if it's in the campaign. And wait, how could it be? Yeah, because Joey has Time Wizard. Well, anyway, what happened is, uh, you know, Joey tried to come back. You know, he evolved... Uh, baby dragon, and of course you got the time roulette right, you know, uh, so, yeah, he evolved baby dragon, you know, into thousand dragon, and, but at the same time, um, what you call it, dark magician was on the field, and at first it appeared like, yeah, it really aged dark magician, and Joey had the win, but of course Yugi, you know, he revealed, you know, oh, I have Dark Sage. You know, it uh, going through a thousand years of aging made Dark Magician stronger, not weaker. Now I can play one spell card during each of your turns and one spell card during each of mine. It's just like, what? No card could possibly... Wait, I do have Time Wizard. Okay, maybe Dark Sage is somewhere deep, 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 deep in this deck, maybe. But, uh, yeah, that was the other kind of highlight, so, yeah, pretty interesting duel, though, overall. So, yeah. But, yeah, Joey with that shield and sword play was definitely the highlight of this duel by far, by far. Now, I could do a thousand with, uh, I mean, uh, 800. Well, you know, he doesn't have many life points left. I know this seems kind of like a waste, but if I do this, I can beat him in two turns with Time Wizard, so I'm actually gonna... Oh, good thing I didn't use Time Wizard's effect there, or I would have aged Baby Dragon, and uh, he would have had a Thousand Dragon. Not good, not good, guys. It wouldn't have destroyed his monster, no, no. Time Wizard ages cards by a thousand years. That's what it does, guys. That's what it does. Uh, yeah, I kind of forced him to play that copycat. Yeah, I play copycat. This lets me copy one of your cards. Interesting move there. Interesting. Now, you basically just surrendered, Joey, because you could have, and should have, attacked my Time Wizard. Because, see, I have no follow-up play. So, yeah. Interesting. But, yeah, summoning Time Wizard was the right move there. All right. Yeah, well, you... I'm sad that I lost. Now, I, I, got, I don't have the money for my sister's eye operation. But, uh, yeah, anyway, man, we knew one of us had to lose. But the good news is, one of us got the win, too. Congratulations, man. Here, take my card. My glory of the... Oh, okay. Show it to Pegasus and Flunky Croquet, and he'll give you three million bucks in prize money. No, Joey. You keep it. Your sister needs that money. Aw, oh, that's sweet, Yugi, but uh, why are you blushing here? That's, that's kind of... You... Yeah? Once I thought I lost this duel, I thought I lost all hope. Yeah, you're the best friend in the world, buddy. I didn't enter the tournament to get rich, Joey. But if you want to give me, you know, just about $1,000, I'd appreciate it. I'm just here to save my grandpa and the Kyber brothers. Please use this money for Serenity's operation. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he did say it. Yeah. When I lost the duel, I lost all hope for saving my sister's Serenity. But now, you, thank you. Now go and take down Pegasus, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. All right. And yeah, 
Ooh, we get Black Skull Dragon. That's really cool. Trap Hole, which Joey didn't seem to play there, but maybe he does have it, and it's just... Yeah. Uh, actually, Trap Hole seems like it would be a, a dead card in that duel, because... Uh, a lot of special summoning going on in that duel. A lot of fusing from both layers. Uh, yeah, and uh, Ancient Rules also helps. Uh, anyway, next duel. This is it, guys. This is the finals. Match of the Millennium. I'm going to take a drink in anticipation. That's good. Alrighty, guys. Let's do it. The Match of the Millennium. Let's do it. The time had finally come for revenge. As champion of the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, Yugi Moto won the right to duel back some million Pegasus. <clears throat> Promise me that you'll free the souls of my grandfather and Kaiba and Mokuba. Yes, but if I'm the one who defeats you instead, Yugi boy, you have to fulfill your end of the bargain as well. Take a close look at the blank card you hold in your hand, Yugi boy. There's a reason why it's blank. For if I win, I claim your soul and your Millennium Puzzle forever. You have much to gain, but much to risk as well. And you can't hide anything from my Millennium Eye. It's a risk I'm willing to take to free the souls of my grandpa and the others. But I don't plan to lose, sucker. I hate to disappoint you, Pegasus, but I have no intention of be ever becoming a part of your soap card collection, you sick, twisted brute! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, that last line by Yugi was uh, cut off there. I, I, I don't know. Four kids. Four kids. Four kids censored me, guys. Four kids censored me. <laughs> uh, uh, nice. All right, Duelist Kingdom recap on this card. A lot, a lot happened. Uh, mainly, you be getting wrecked for the first like three episodes until uh, <laughs> until he used the mind shuffle. Mind shuffle. But uh, yeah, interesting hand. Hmm. I like the Karibo and Multiply combo. Okay, and I'll get rid of this. And, uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of Dark Magician. Maybe I'll draw Monster Reborn and get lucky. Uh, but I'm actually gonna summon Karibo in attack mode. Yep, that's my move. That, 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 that's suspicious here. Pegasus, just a little Karibo. Yeah, yeah get it? A little Karibo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, recap. Yugi really struggled. Basically, uh, Pegasus kept using his Millennium Eye and read all of Yugi's moves. Oh, is he gonna do it? Is he going to play the Thousand Eyes Restricts? Well, you have only one fusion monster over there, buddy. Is he going to do it? Oh my god, this guy's going to do it. Well, Pegasus didn't do this until the final episode, but this is definitely one of Pegasus' better monsters. And no, Pegasus, I'm not going to let you do that. Now go, multiply! Ha <laughs> ha! Fill my field with car infinite Karibos! <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, basically, Yugi struggled until he drew, um, uh, excuse me, until he drew Dark Magician, of course, you know, his uh, signature card, and basically, you know, they're in the clutch, uh, Little Yugi, for the first time, for the very first time in the series, uh, was, well, he had been trying to call out to Yami Yugi, you know, in the puzzle while Yami Yugi took over, but Yami Yugi could never hear Pegasus. I mean, I <laughs> Yami, yeah, he definitely couldn't hear Pegasus. No, but Yami Yugi can never hear Little Yugi uh, until... Like I said, until he took over for the first time in this duel. And what happened is, is um, I guess I'll play this to destroy two world. But what happened is, um, nice, thousand damage there. And, um, but yeah, what happened is, is like, uh, since he heard him, Little Yugi actually had an idea. He was like, hey, you know, Pegasus keeps cheating and looking at our cards and reading our mind. You know, what if we, you know, since you finally heard me, 
what if we like switch places in between turns? Like, you know, I'll take over and you know play the cards and set them, and then you take over during Pegasus's turn, and you know that way you don't know what cards I have. But if Pegasus tries to read your mind, you won't know what cards I have either. And then I'll I'll just take over and set the cards and stuff. And basically that's what happened. And every time Pegasus would, would try to read their minds, and apparently the Millennium Eye does take, it's not like instantaneous, uh, you know, reading of the mind. It does take a little bit of time. Like, if I had to guess, I would say uh, maybe it takes about, maybe it takes about like, 30 seconds or so, but that's enough time, like if Yugi or uh, Yami, you know, kind of sense that, oh, he's trying to scan our minds, you know, we can just kind of keep switching back and forth, back and forth, and that way he can't, you know, he can't actually do it. Uh, Swords are revealing life. Pegasus definitely did not play this card during this duel, so I, I, you're not following the script, Pegasus. You're being just like, uh, just like Kaiba with that crush card a couple episodes ago, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, basically, uh, after they used the Mind Shuffle, Yab Yugi and Yami Yugi together, they definitely turned things around. And, um, ah, oh, this sucks because you're gonna suck up someone's skull. Man, I could have actually destroyed Relinquish with Maki Yu, but oh well. But yeah, um, they turned things around, and Pegasus was losing in life points. And then he was just like, you know what? F this. I'm gonna take this duel to the Shadow Realm now. You done, you done peed me off. And from there, yeah, things started to turn bad. You know, little Yugi couldn't take the uh, the the pressure from the Shadow Realm. So yeah, not good, not good. Um, now something I could do here to be tricky. I'll try to do it. Hopefully he doesn't attack with other monsters. Wait, wait, you can't, right? Other monsters cannot battle or change their battle positions or attack. Yeah, there we go. So just to kind of wrap up the dual recap, uh, basically Little Yugi couldn't take the pressures of the Shadow Realm, unfortunately. And he uh, passed out due to being unconscious. Uh, and... Um, from there, you, you might think, oh, well, Pegasus could just read, read his mind again, and, you know, GG, the duel's over. Well, you know, somehow, some somehow, I, you know, technically this shouldn't have worked, but, like, his friends, like, kind of, you know, put their hands together, and it, it was a friendship moment, and they kind of, like, you know, focused their minds, and was just like, oh, you know, let's just, you know, focus on our friendship with Yugi, and somehow their, you know, the power of their friendship, like, blocked Pegasus from reading his mind the rest of the duel. It's just like, that definitely shouldn't have happened. But also his friends, like, kind of felt, like, when Yugi, little Yugi went unconscious, his friends, like, felt like, oh, 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 you know, something, you know, my sixth sense is tingling, you know, I feel something wrong with Yugi. And then that's when they started kind of putting their hands together, and it's just like, yeah. But yeah, plot armor, friendship, and uh, yeah. Yep, but yeah, Pegasus definitely played some good cards during that duel too, like Relinquish and Thousand Eyes for Strip, so. As well as his tune cards, Pegasus stole uh, Yugi's Summon Skull at one point and turned that into a tune, which <laughs> that was a pretty fun funny moment as well, but yeah, anyway, back to the story, guys. Yeah. Pegasus, you're finished. We've won. It's impossible. My eye, my magic, it's all failed me. I can't believe it. I've lost. The duel showed... Yeah, 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 I'm glad they put this in here. The duel showed Yugi that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was his friend. Together with the Mind Shuffle, they were able to defeat Pegasus. Yugi learned that if they work together, they can accomplish anything. Spirit of the Puzzle? I, I don't even know your name. But I don't know how to thank you. It was your courage and the love of your friends had for you that prevailed this day. That pretty much sums it up, Yami Yu. Thank you. And your determination and your leather jacket. We, we did it all together. Now let's go get that hair gel. <laughs> Gotta keep my hair spiky. That's right. As friends. And in the end, that's what it came down to. 
friends being there for one another, and also me having broken cards like Mirror Force. That helps too. Yeah, he won! Way to go! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> we all won. Thanks, guys. Yugi saved the souls of his grandpa, Sento Kaiba, and Mokuba Kaiba. However, they're like the other dangers there from the shadows. His friend, Bakura, still possessed by the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring, had an agenda of his own. So, although Yugi thought his problems were over, things were about to get much, much worse. Ha ha ha! Ah, Florence is here, and I'm going to need a drink to do this voice. Ha ha ha! Now that Pegasus is weakened by his duel with Yugi, he's given me the perfect opportunity I've been waiting for. Pegasus's mind is now weak while mine is fresh. The time has come for me to add my Pegasus Millennium item to my collection. <laughs> yeah, so long story short, uh, basically, after this duel was over, you know, Pegasus was uh, exhausted. Uh, not as exhausted as Yugi enough to pass out, but, you know, the duel definitely took a toll on him as well. Uh, and he was a little weakened, you know, as far as his Millennium powers go. And so what uh, Florence, or uh, Yami Bakuri did, is immediately after this duel, you know, he challenged uh, Pegasus with uh, magical Egyptian laser beams, and yes, that actually did happen. And, uh, but yeah, because, uh, Pegasus was weak, uh, Yami Bakuri, you know, won the laser beam battle and, yeah, stole Pegasus' Millennium Eye, so. And after that, you know, Croquet found him and called help from the hospital, so. New duelist, Pegasus, yeah, cool. Uh, and that's to be expected, you know, we finished the duelist kingdom, so. Alright, the mystery duelist, interesting. All right, um, well, we're at about 22 minutes, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And in the next episode, we will do the mystery duelist. Ooh, who could it be? But you see a bandana on that guy's head in the in the silhouette. You know, so it's obviously Bandit Keith in America. <laughs> yeah, this, only Americans wear a bandana. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.